हेलो अस्सलाम वालेकुम वालेकुम अस्सलाम वरहमतुल्लाह Here we are doing please chapter number four, interpolating polynomial, and we are looking for the approximation of the function at the given point. We already finished the first interpolating polynomial we call Lagrange interpolating polynomial, and now we will talk to the the second interpolating polynomial. Newton interpolating polynomial. I give small introduction of the Newton polynomial in my last lecture, and the Newton polynomial, as I told you before, Newton polynomial and the Lagrange interpolating polynomial exactly the same way of writing is different, and all the difficulty we can face in the Lagrange polynomial that come overcome in the case of the Newton polynomial. and the difficulty in the lagrange polynomial as already we know that if we have a more data point than it is become difficult from timing point of view to deal with the lagrange polynomial and the second problem is if we can have the information if we have the information of the previous polynomial low polynomial degree we cannot use in the higher degree polynomial this two problem facing in the lagrange polynomial will be solved easily in the case of the newton interpolating polynomial as i told you they are exactly the same but only way of writing is a different here but to use the newton polynomial the basic things we need in the newton polynomial is called the divided differences of a function and do the difference behave like a derivative i will very soon inshallah give you the the relationship between the derivative difference of a function and the derivative of the function but let's we talk about what do you mean by derivative difference i will usually call dd please throughout this topic the zero dd of a function need only one point and the notation is this one and formula is this one here so what is zero divided difference of a function we denote it by the square root a square bracket like this way and what is the formula of this one the zero divided difference is simply the value of the function at that given point we have then we can increase the order of dd let's we have a first order dd so when we increase the order we increase the number of points zero order dd as i told you we need only one point when we move to the first order dd we need two points let's i call xi and xi plus 1 and what is the notation of the first order dd is this one and first order dd is a difference of zero order is a difference of the zero order so how can we write the formula we ignore first xi first point and we take the other one minus we ignore the last point and we take the first one so this is a shape you have and the same divided by we have final point minus first point here. this is a formula we call the first order dd here and we know zero order dd is simply the value of the function is this one here now if you remember that one go back to your math 150 this is a very well known formula which we call slope the derivative at the given point here so therefore as i told you divided difference behave like a derivative and then this way we can find out the second order dd third order dd and fourth order dd same sequence where we have for example if we have the second order dd and second order dd need how many points it need three points so let's call notation is what is let's call x not x1 and x2 
And what is the formula for this one? Same thing, ignore the first point first. Then we have what? X1, X2 minus, ignore the last one, what we have? It is X0 and X1 and whole divided by, whole is divided by the final point, which is what? X2 minus the initial point, which is X0. This is the formula we have for the case of the second order DD. And same way, as I told you, the same way you can continue for the third order and for the fourth order, for the third order DD, what is the formula? Third order DD need the four point X3. And how can you write? Same way, ignore the first point. So you left is what? It is X3, ignore the last point. So you have X2 and the final point, which is X3 minus X naught. So this is the things you can see here. So what is second order DD? Second order DD is a difference of the first order. What is the third order DD is a difference of the second order. Continue like this way. This is, I give you the, the NS to ID, the generalized formula for in this sense, we need N plus one point for the nth order DD and notation we can show by this one and the formula is this one. As I told you, ignore the first point. So you could start from Xi plus one to Xi and, and minus ignore the last point. So you have Xi X plus one to Xi, Xi plus N minus one thing. divided by the final point minus the initial point. This is a simple idea of the divided difference. You have to be, you must be memorize this in the sequence because as I told you, when we use Lagrange formula, we can use the higher degree and higher degree mean we need the higher order of DD here. So you, sequence, you must be, remember that one. And also one things you have to remember, as I told you, in the case of the divided difference, and that's divided difference. If you have the order of DD is N of NS degree polynomial, the NS divided difference of NS degree polynomial, NS degree polynomial, the job is always is constant. If you take the order of n order dd of the degree polynomial, n degree polynomial, the job is a constant. That means if the order of dd and the degree of the polynomial is same, the answer always constant. And if your order is dd is n dd of your degree of polynomial is less. And degree of polynomial is what? N minus one. Degree polynomial. What is the job? Job is always the zero. Like this one here. What is the first derivative of? Let's say two X plus two. What is the first derivative of this one? Hmm? What is the derivative of this 2x plus 2? Two. Two, 2, which is a constant, right? 2 is a constant. And 
if because the degree of derivative is sorry order of derivative and degree of polynomial exactly the same it means jawab is a constant but if you have order of derivative increase second order and your degree of polynomial is less which is the same thing if we take here what is the jawab of this one the second order derivative of 2x plus 2 always equal to 0 so that's i told you that the order of dd behave like a derivative which i will give you very soon the relation between them here so you know the idea of the order of the derivative this is a table i just give you for the how many points we are at four point right so four point mean we can find the third order dd and what is the formula for this one what is the point x not x1 x2 and x3 what is the zero order dd zero order dd is x is only we denoted by this one and and difference of this one f of x1 minus f x0 the same by x1 minus x0 is your first order dd and the same way you can do f of x2 minus f of x1 the same by x2 minus x1 is you have this one and the same way and the difference of this one we have the second order and the difference of second order is the third order dd this is a way how the table and because when we use newton polynomial newton polynomial always need dd table for the function and that we can use in the formula that's i give you i give some example how to create the table for this function i give 3 4 5 6 7 8 these are the three points here and then i say your function is ex create the dd table so what you have to do you have to find the zero order dd and i told you zero order dd is what zero order dd is a value of the function at that point here which is ex here what is a function here no no sorry the function is this one the function is this one not this one please sorry this is not ex the function is this one so what you have to find the zero dd zero dd is simply the value of the function at the given point so you can find out f of 3 is this one f of 4 put the value this one so function is given this one and you can have this value here then you want to find the first order dd and first order dd is what is a difference of this two point so 1258 minus 433 the same by divided by 4 minus 3 and you have the this you are 2935 minus 1258 take same by 5 minus 4 you have this one so continue like this one and inshallah you will get the first order and then what is the second order second order dd is the difference of the first so you can behave the same way 16 and 77 minus 8 25 the same by 3 point now we need the secondary 3 point so you choose the first three 5 minus 3 and you get this one the same way this minus this the same by 6 minus 4 and you can have here and the third dd is what is the difference of 651 minus 4 24 the same by now we have a 4.6 minus 3 so you have this one i can you like this one here as i told you what is the order of polynomial order of polynomial is 4 and it's mean the fourth order dd difference must be constant constant mean the same value in the table and we have the same maybe 4 4 maybe 3 3 or minus 200 200 so like this one here the same job that we call constant which i give you the rule if the degree of polynomial and order of dd exactly the same there a job is a constant but if you take the fifth derivative fifth order dd for this case jawab always zero and this is true 4 minus 4 the same by 8 minus 3 which is 0 by 5 is always equal to 0 we have here 
this is how can you create the table and of course to create the table zero order d is the value of the function at the given point first order d is the difference of the zero order second order d is the difference of the first order and third order d is the difference of the second and continue like in the same sequence now let's i give you the formula newton polynomial degree 1 or linear newton polynomial what is the formula is this one and what is this one is a zero order dd plus x minus x not and the first order dd this is a formula of this one and most commonly used formula is quadratic polynomial and quadratic polynomial is what zero order dd first order dd and the second order dd this is the things you have the formula for this case here now as i told you that f of x not plus x minus x not f of x on what is this one equal to is a p1 so you can write in the shortcut is a p1 like this one here generally in exam teacher give you what he say find p2 when teacher give you p1 so it mean only you have to calculate this extra term we have for that case but as i told you if teacher say use p1 in p2 condition please remember that one here the initial point of p1 mean x not and x not of p2 should be same if you want to use p1 in p2 to get the good approximation otherwise you have a approximation but not a, a good approximation we are interested increase one more term increase one more point so you have now how many points you have four point here and four point always mean the cubic polynomial and the cubic newton polynomial can be written as in this form here and of course if you can see right in the shortcut this is your p1 this is your p2 and this is the extra term and in exam generally not generally always like that when if teacher say you find approximation by p3 teacher must provide you what the p2 so you have to memorize this one extra term you have to calculate what is this one x minus x not x not x x1 and x2 must be given here this is the only things you have to calculate which is four point mean third order dd we have to do here continue like in the similar manner you can have here now generalized formula we have for that case here which is exactly the same we like that that the zero order dd and first order dd plus second order dd plus n minus time order dd is the formula we have here now this is as i told you as i told you newton polynomial and lagrange interpolating polynomial exactly exactly the same only way of writing is a different here let's i take this is a the newton polynomial degree 1 which i give you just i give you the formula newton polynomial degree 1 is this formula so we have this one and we know what is the value of this is zero order dd and zero order dd is what is the value of the function at that point here plus x minus x not what is this one first order dd and first order dd what is the formula ignore the first point f of x1 minus ignore the last point f of x not divided by final point minus this is your value of the first order dd here and now you play with it simplify this expression make your f of x not separate and f of x1 separate and you will get exactly the this one here and of course if you remember what is this one this is linear lagrange polynomial this is l not x f of x not this is l1 x f of x not therefore as i told you they are exactly the same only way of writing is that the different we have i give some example like this one here to show they are the same polynomial for this data point if you find the 
Lagrange and Newton polynomial, you get exactly the, the same here. This is Lagrange formula first degree two. If you find out what is the formula of degree two, this is a formula of degree two. And you know everything. This is the information given to you about x naught, x1, and x2. You put the value there, and this is your f of x naught, which is one, f of x1 is two, f of x2 is three. So you put the value and simplify this expression in the form of x, so you can have here now. This is your polynomial, degree two you have. Now, if you do the quadratic Newton polynomial, Newton polynomial always need the DD table. So how many points you have? Three points, zero, one, and three. What is the zero order DD? Zero order DD is the value of the function at that point. That is, what is the function at zero, one? What is the function at one, two? What is the function at three? Is a three, so we have this one. Now you find the first order DD, the difference of the zero order, two minus one, divided by one minus zero, so you will get one. And three minus two, the same divided by three minus one is equal to the half. And to find the second order DD, which needs three points, so we have to count all three here now. So we have half minus one divided by three minus zero, and you will get exactly this one here. And when you put this one in the formula quadratic Newton polynomial, this formula we have here. Now put the, all the information. This is zero order DD one. This is the first order DD. This is first order DD, sorry, zero order D is a one. First order DD is one. And second order DD is minus one over six. Put the value of second order, first order and zero order and you exactly get the same thing, exactly the same polynomial. Because I told you, Lagrange and Newton, exactly the same, only way of writing is a different. Okay, you got any, any question you have up to now, please? Any question? It's all clear, inshallah. Okay, alhamdulillah. So let's, we move some proper example now. I will not give you the order of, sorry, the error bond formula of the Newton because we already discussed the error bond formula of Lagrange and the error bond formula of Lagrange and Newton, we will use the same here. Let's, I give you the, the example according to the examination point of view. This is a very good example we have here now. And it is not straightforward, but you have to think about that one here. Let's see, say, construct the DD table for this function. Your function is this one. And how many points you have here? One, two, three, four, five. Five point mean you have to find the fourth order DD. And the fourth order DD for this function should be what, please? If your order DD is four, degree of polynomial is three. So what is the job should be? The fourth order DD of degree three, job always equal to zero because I told you if order of DD is more and degree of polynomial is less, the job is a zero. Okay. Let's we find here the table first. You are given this point, one, two, three, four. Your given function is this one. So you put, what is the zero order DD? Zero order DD is the value of the function at the given point. So what you have, f of one. What is f of one? One plus seven plus one, which is a nine. f of two, what is f of two? Is eight plus 28, 36 plus one, 37. So you can find here. <clears throat> the zero order DD, you will find out this one. And then you have to find this first order DD. And I told you first order DD is what? First order DD is? the difference of the zero order. So you have first order DD need two points. So you have to choose two points from X side. First two points, 37 minus nine divided by two minus one. And inshallah, you will get 28. 91 minus 37, 
divided by 3 minus 2, you will get 54. And 177 minus 91, 16 by 4 minus 3, you will get 86, inshallah. And 301 minus 177 divided by 5 minus 4, you will get this one. And then when he say create the TD table, it means you have to continue unless you cannot do more than this one. So it means we can continue and we find the second order DD. Second order DD need three points. So we have to first select the first three points here for this one. And what is this one? Is the difference of first order the 54 minus 28 divided by three minus one. So we have a 13, 86 minus 54 divided by 4 minus 2, 16, and 124 minus 86, 16 by 4 minus 3, sorry, 5 minus 3, you have a 19, and you got this one. Continue like this one. So you have third order DD, third order DD need four points. So first you need first four, then you need this four points. So you have the difference of this 16 minus 13, divided by four minus one, three, three by one is equal to one. And 19 minus 16, which is a three, divided by five minus two, three, three by three is this one. As I told you, your degree of polynomial is what? Three, and your order of DD is three, Joao always constant. So you have a constant here. The answer is a constant here. And now you can find the fourth order DD. Fourth order DD, the difference of this one. Fourth order DD need five points. We have to choose all five. So one minus one divided by five minus one, which is a zero here. This is a create the DD table for how many points? Five points we have here now. We finish the first part. The second part, he say, if the approximation of the function at 3.5 by the linear Newton polynomial is this one. This is given. This is a quadratic polynomial we have here now, please. Then he say, use it to find the first approximation. So the best approximation of f of three by using quadratic Newton. So quadratic Newton formula, including P1 can be written in this form. So you have to, this is given by the teacher. X is given by the teacher, which is 3.5. X naught and X1, you have to select from here. And this is a, the second order DD. So that's, you have to find out with the help of the table you created now. And table you created is this one. Now, please, first of all, you need what? quadratic polynomial. So you need, you have to select three points from that one because we are given five points. So what is your X? This is an important thing. X is 3.5. With the help of this, you have to choose the best possible three points using quadratic polynomial. And which will be the way of choosing the best point is what? That's X naught, X1 and X2 should be close each other and 3.5, the interpolating point should be inside here. So any student can give me what point you will choose for this one. The choosing the selecting of the selection of the point should be the small size of the interval should be. So what point you will choose X naught, X1 and X2. And if you choose, then you have to give me answer why you choose this one. But remember one thing, you are using P1 in P2 and I give you the condition for P1 and P2. You can only use P1 in P2 if the starting point of P1 and P2 exactly the same. What you can choose now, please, three possible points. Three, four, and five. Uh, and we can also choose uh, two, three, four. Yeah, but we have to choose only one. Which one we go? All of them are the same. Uh, this is the things, but remember, as I told you, the condition is given. P1, you have to use P1 in P2. It's mean if you are using P1 in P2, 
the starting point, as I told you in the very first lecture, when I start Newton polynomial, I say, please, you have to be careful for P now, P, if you want to use P1 in P2, the starting point of P1 and P2 should be same. Okay, let's say for, for P1, you need how many points? Two. Two. X naught and? And X1. So what X naught and X1 you will choose, please, for P1? Three and four. Three and four. Now, what you will choose for your P2 now? Three and four and five. Yeah, this is, we have only one choice. We can use what? We can use three, four, and the five. If we are not using P1 in P2, then yes, we have a two choices. We can use two, three, four, or three, four, and five, because they are the same. But as I told you, we are using P1 in P2, so X naught for P1 and P2 must be the, the same we have here, right? So now when you are got this point here, so your X naught should be three, four, and five. This is the three point you choose. Now you need what? P1 3.5, which is given by the teacher is 134 here. So you need 3.5 minus X naught, 3.5 minus X1, and you need three F of three, four, five. The second order, DD, can you give me what is F of three, four, and five? Three, four, and five. What is your second order, DD? Can you please, who will tell me what is the second order, DD, for three, four, and five? This is second order DD, right? 13 yes. for three point or what? One, two, and three. Okay. 16 is for what? Two, three, and four. four. And 19 is what? Three, four, and five. So this is the second order DD we need here. And that I put here. 19 here. So when you use calculator, we have this. And this is a job we have here now. When I give this same example in the exam, I add one more term and one more, sorry, condition or the question. And my question was what in the exam? Why P2 is better than P1? Why P2 is better than P1? How can you say the answer for this case? You know what is P2? P1 is given by the teacher 134. And P2, you calculate, is 129.25. My question is, why P2 is better than P1? Maybe because we, uh, we take more points. No, this is not, but you have to give the proper reason. If you say P2 is, P2 job is better, how can you say P2 is job is better? Better it's mean, uh, it's uh, close to, to the real answer. Real but... answer. How can you find the real answer? This is your alpha, right? 
this is the alpha, the exact you are. And you find alpha, and when you find exact you are, which is this one, and I think you will get 129.625, because you know the function is given by this one. And you find the value, what is the exact solution in this case? When you put x is equal to 3.5, because we are looking for the approximation of this, and we are only looking for approximation of exact in 254. This is your exact. So it's mean for when teachers say why P2 is better than P1, you simply have to find absolute error for F 3.5 minus P2 3.5. Five, you already know, and also you find out the same thing. For the case of the P1, for the case of P1, and we know what is the job of F of point three five is 129.625, P2, you know, P1, if we know 135, the small, the things we have. This is the things I give you here. The, this is the error for, so error for P2 is 0 0.375, and if error for P1, because in P1, what we have in place of this one, 134. So you have a big answer here, big error. Let's take one more example. This is a very good example also. Many time I give in the exam here. You said construct the DD table for the function f of x is equal to lin x plus two in the interval zero to three and your h is one. h mean the step size, the distance between the point. So it's mean your x naught is what? X naught always, the first point, which is zero. What is your X one? Is the difference one. of one, so this is one. X two is what? Two. And X three is what? Three. So how many points you have here now? Four. The Nine. four, so you have to find the DD table for four point, four point mean you have to go up to order three, right? Order three need four point here. Let's we do the first part, construct the DD table. This is the things you have here now. You have a 4.0123 and zero order DD is what? Zero order DD is simply the value of the function at that. So what is, you have F of zero, F of zero is lin two. And when you use calculator lin two always 6.3. This is lin, lin three. This one, this is lin four, this is lin five. This is the things we have. Because zero DD is simply the value of the function at the given point. Then you find the first order DD, as I told you, first order DD is what? The first order DD is the difference of the zero order. And first order DD need two points, so we have to select the first two points. So 1.0986 minus 0 0.06932 divided by one minus zero, what is the job you have? You got this one. And then you behave the same thing. 1.3863 minus 1.0986 divided by two minus one, you have this one. And for the last, you have this minus this, the same by three minus two, and you can have here this one. This is your first order DD. Second order DD need three points. So you have to select first three point for first case. So 0 0.2877 minus 0.4, 0, 0.55 divided by 2 minus 0, inshallah, you will get this one. And 0. 0.2232 minus 0. 0.2877 divided by 3 minus 1, and you will get this one. And the fourth, third order DD is the difference of the second order, and third order DD need four points, so we have to select all four points here. So this minus 0. 0.0323 minus 0. 0.0. 5 bit divided by 3 minus 0, and inshallah, you will get 
This is the order DD. We finish the first. Now the question is what? Use Newton divided interpolating formula to construct the interpolating polynomial degree two and the degree three. He say find first degree two, then use the job of degree two in degree three using degree two to approximate length three point five, and then C is a compute the error bound. And D may be, it's not given, D may be an exam teacher can give you what? Compute the absolute error. First, you have to use the P2, right? P2 to approximate lin 3.5. First, your question is, or task is, what is your X, please, for this case? Any student, what is your X given? 3.5. Uh -huh. This is your function at the given, as I told you last time, I give two, three example. This is a function at X. This is a function at given X. So how can you do? 1.5. Yes, X plus two is equal to 3.5. It's mean your X is one point. Well, many, many students, when I give this problem in exam, many students use x is equal to 3.5. Many students use x is equal to lin 3.5. No, please. This is the function at the given x. This is the function with without value of x. So now we can compare with this one, lin, lin, same. In place of x plus 2, we have a 3.5. And then we see x plus 2 equal to 3.5. So x, we can easily find out this one. How many points we are given? The four point. Right? Four point are what? What is the point given? Teacher give you what? x naught is equal to 0, I think. What, what, what zero? Yeah, x one is equal to one, x two equal to two, and x three equal to three. Right now, please, which three point you have to use for P two? First, read the statement. Consider the interpolating polynomial degree two the first thing, and then degree three. But when you find the degree three formula, you have to use degree two inside that one. One, two, and three. One, two, and three. Astaghfirullah, astaghfirullah. That's for uh, degree three. And degree two, we, ha we have one and two. Oh, degree two, we need three point. Degree two, we need three point. All right. So from four, which three point you will choose, please? Zero, one, and two. Zero, one, and two. Why? Because we can use one, two, and three. But we are using P2 in B3. It means X naught of P3 and X naught of P2 should be exactly, exactly the same. Because if I use x1, 1, 2, and 3 for p2, then we cannot use in p3 because for p3, what is your x0? It's a zero. It's mean, what is two point you can use for p2 should be zero, one, and two. If there is a no question for use p2 in p3, then you have a two choices, either zero, one, two, or one, two, three here. But here you have only one choice here. So now you can use the table here. You create the table. This is the formula of p2. And you need what? Zero order dd. Zero order dd is what? Because we have to start only first three points we have to choose. Zero, one, and two here. So you have. 0 0.69 here, which I put here. Then plus first order DD. What is the first order DD for the first three points? This is a four point, this. 
then this is x minus x naught x naught is your zero then you have the second order dd and second order dd for first three point is this one put the value of x minus zero and x minus one and you use calculator and inshallah you will get the jawab for the p2 at p1.1.5 now and you can have this error please okay you know what is the exact exact is what given exact is lin 3.5 which you can find by calculator uh, lin 3.5 inshallah when you find out it give you this answer by using calculator this you just computed the sec the approximate solution difference between them that will give you the possible absolute error let's we do the the p3 and p3 we have to use p2 inside so this is the formula of this one we already know p2 is what 1.2620 x 1.5 x naught is 0 x1 is 1 x2 is 2 only we need to value of this one x naught x1 and x2 the third order dd and third order dd we have only this one for the first four five and which you can put here please in the formula and inshallah when put in the formula you have this job and when you solve this one here, putting the value of x is equal to 1.5, and this approximation you will get here. And now you can find out the difference between exact and approximation is this one better than, of course, the smaller error than that we have here. Then you compute the, the error bond for both cases. We know error bond. We discussed error bond for the Lagrange, and I told you that the error bond of Lagrange and Newton exactly the same. This is the error bond formula for the case of the quadratic polynomial. So only things we have to calculate m. M is what the maximum value of the third derivative at the given interval. And when you find the the third derivative of the given function, inshallah, you find that this you have and the maximum value of this derivative inside the interval from zero to two, you will get this one. And this is the error bond for error, maximum error you have here now. This is the error bond formula of degree three, fourth derivative. So you need third derivative already when you take one more time derivative, you have the four derivative and you have to find the maximum value of the four derivative inside the interval. What is your interval now for P3 is from zero to three, because we have to take all four points. And this is the maximum value of M you have is this one. So you can put here 0.375 taxim by four Victoria, four Victoria, how much is 24, I think. And X is 1.5, X naught is zero one two and three when you calculate this one inshallah you will get this value this is this this is your maximum value of m this is divided by four factorial which is this one and this is the possible error bond for the case of degree three five So that's the things we have here. It's a very good example. We continue, inshallah, more example for this one. And if in exam teacher never say to use P2 in P3, then directly you have to use a complete formula. This is a complete formula for the, the case of that. Uh, doctor? Yes. Uh, can you send the Google Drive uh, link? This file? No, no, the Google Drive for the videos, the recorded uh, lectures. Yeah, I will send, inshallah, recorded always. You got every my previous recording in my Google yes, Drive. Uh, but, but I don't have the Google Drive itself. Like, I don't have the link for your videos. Uh, no, you don't have this one. I sent the link okay. here. Is, is, a, is I will send you, inshallah, mail again here, right? For the link right thank you doctor. okay next time we talk about also one of the best example dealing with the 
Newton polynomial is this one that we will discuss inshallah next time here. You remember that one, I think in the morning today, send you, I think everyone got the, the, oh, yes. the file and please you have to go to the, your room number according to your serial number. And I think is from serial number one to serial number from one to 